what's going on boys welcome everybody back to another play review so today we'll be looking at the new upgraded 92 Zagadu and I feel like this was a must do SBC um, instead of my usual end screen that I do for you guys where I go through his pros and cons and give him a you know a performance rating a value rating we'll still do the performance rating and the value rating um, and the pros and cons but there's really no point in giving it a tick or cross because it is too late now um, if you guys completed the SBC then you should be very happy I used his 90 rated for 26 games in this weekend league uh, Zagadu ended up finishing gold one, 20 wins and 8 losses, sadly we did miss out on the lead, I, I just completely bottled it, um, but genuinely lads, he was my hero, out of his whole team here that was playing, we weren't playing Insigne, we were actually playing uh, Nan Golden for Insigne, but other than that, literally, he was the standout in this team, the best defender out of all four defenders, he outperformed this dude right here, genuinely lads, all I can say is from using his 90 rated, he was absolutely cracked, so lads, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, also by the time you're seeing this, literally like the second and this is out. It's currently 7:20 p.m. We're going to be going live at 7:40 p.m. So click the link, top link in the description. We're going to be opening my rewards, viewers rewards, and we have also got some Serie A tots packs, some Road to Glory grinding with my new Team of Season Ronaldo as well. So if you do want to come along, it'll be a three or four hour stream. So it'll be live a long time. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, boys, let's get in to the clips I got from this 92 Sega do. I would like to say there's not too much clips with this one because we only had one game to play usually we play two or three um, But we're on a time limit because division rivals closed literally two minutes after I finished this match So we had to get this done very quickly, but I've used 26 games uh, with his 90 So I, I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to the card as you can see here There is a perfect instance and the reason I left this clip in is he actually lost the ball at this point And he's not the most agile or balanced at all as you can see he's just taking ages He's very clunky. I try to get rid of it. I take way too long but the power of this dude, he's 6 foot 5, he's absolutely massive, he does get that interception through. And it was the exact same with his 90 rated I used all throughout the weekend league. Um, he genuinely, he is an absolute unit. He's 6 foot 5, and although he's got 78 agility and 73 balance with no chem style with the new upgrade, it's not bad at all. 78 agility, 73 balance for a centre back is fine, but he's 6 foot 5 and he's got a high and average body type, meaning obviously he's an absolute tank and he, he, he's very, very clunky. And I mean, that comes with his ups, that comes with his downs. He absolutely towers over the opponent very, very well. He's, an, he's just an absolute unit. He wins the ball back 9 out of 10 times. Tackling and physical-wise, defending physical-wise, you, you do not have to, like, you know, you do not have to touch that at all. He is phenomenal. As for pace, genuinely, lads, with a shadow, he goes to 92 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. But once he is six foot five, and once he is such a big body type, if you guys also used him throughout the weekend league, uh, you will know that he is you know he doesn't feel as fast as he goes to 95 pace with a shadow in game or sorry 96 pace actually uh with a new upgrade and 96 pace you guys, if you have used his 90, you will know he does not feel like he's got 96 pace just because of his body type, just because of how big he is. But still, he is fast. And obviously, it's not a lie. He, he genuinely, he does have 96 pace. It just doesn't feel that way because of how big he is. And obviously, uh, once he is tall, he takes much bigger steps. His running animation is a lot different compared to, obviously, a 5'7", agile, messy type of thing. But still, this card is an absolute unit. And during this weekend league, like I said, I've played 27 games with him, 26 with his 90, and obviously, just this one you guys just saw was 92 and with his 90 rated genuinely I can barely I can feel a tiny difference I can feel a tiny difference I feel like this 92 is a smidgen bit faster but once his defending and physical was already 92 and 92 on his 90 genuinely it feels like there's not much difference whatsoever and also um there was actually quite a few clips I did cut out it would have been like an extra minute of clips in this video if I did show all his passing I was actually just trying to try his passing out because he's got 92 short passing and 90 long passing which is genuinely really good for a center back and personally I think passing as a center back is an underrated stat especially if you are building out from the back now some questions I got on my last video is would you prefer for Zagadu or uh, someone came into my last Zagadu video or my last Zagadu one minute breakdown and they said would you rather the new showdown Walker or showdown Zagadu and I hate to break it to you guys this card is absolutely unreal defensively definitely Zagadu but with a meta with a stupid ass meta this year it will have to be Kyle Walker fullbacks at centre back are always going to be superior but in Zagadu's case genuinely I rocked two centre backs with a Lac Rockstar dude or Lac Crux I don't know how to pronounce his name and Zagadu and I this is the first weekend I've actually genuinely 
genuinely use two centre backs, and I mean he works really well. He is a perfect mix of incredible defending, incredible physical. Like I said, he doesn't feel as fast as his pace does suggest, but he is still very fast, and he is an absolute tank going into challenges. Six foot five as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. So for the performance rating, you've already seen it on the screen. Performance rating throughout the 27 games this is based on, because uh, we actually didn't do a 90 Zagadu review, so this is like a you know uh, my overall experience with this card is 90 and his 92 over the 27 games he's a very consistent I think he only had maybe one or two bad games throughout the whole 27 um genuinely like a 9.5 out of 10 and as for value this was exceptional value an 83 and 84 rated squad for this card is a steal his value is going to be a 9.9 .9 out of 10 this card is absolutely sick um like I said there's no point doing a tick or a cross because I mean it's an SBC review I mean like there's no point because you guys have already picked him up or you haven't so there's no point telling me whether or not I think it is worth it genuinely he, he would have been worth it but obviously the SBC has expired now um, also the pros and cons the pros simply is just going to be his pace defending physical six foot five and it's going to be his medium high work rates which is perfect also lads um, I did make the mistake in my first game I played him at right center back play him at left center back as he is left footed my mistake I, I really didn't clock he was left footed until later on so make sure lads play him as a left center back um, and, and another reason you guys will be clicking on this video is because you're probably wondering, is there a noticeable upgrade between his 90 and 92? Defending and physical, genuinely I didn't notice a thing because it's basically like pouring water into the sea. Genuinely, the only a plus two defending, plus two physical from 92 to 94 will make little to no difference. Um, but I did notice a difference between his passing. His passing was a lot better and his pace, he did feel smidgen a little bit faster as I said before. So yes, it is a difference and GG's if you guys did complete this card. Till next time, peace out boys.